Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We just beat the Fushia Jip. Yeah. So we're going to be heading now to what's called the Safari Zone, which is supposed to... I'm, I'm not quite understanding what it is, but I know there's a lot of Pokemon we can catch. I mean, a lot. So um, before we head that way, I made a couple changes. Um, so I put a Haunter in my party. Uh, Butterfree, Pidgeotto, Snorlax, Graveler to say Staryu is the new one. Um, I no longer have a Pokemon that can cut, which I may end up paying for, but we'll make the adjustments as we can. Um, I needed a Pokemon that can learn the next thing. So, I think it's the last HM in the game. So, what I've seen to get up there is to come this way. Um, so I have a feeling the next couple areas is going to be a lot of item grabbing and a lot of Pokemon grabbing. So. Hey, me to hit you, baby. Okay, so it costs 500 to enter. You receive 30 balls. In yellow version, if you, bo if you bother the attendant here, he will allow you to enter the Safari Zone even if you don't have 500. Instead, he will take all your remaining money and give you a number of Safari Balls proportionate to the amount you pay, leaving you with a single Safari Ball if you have no money at all. Ah. There are two items in this area that you absolutely have to have, and that's why they did that. That's awfully nice of them. There's no such checks in red and blue. So in red and blue, it is actually possible, although extremely unlikely, that you kind of lock yourself out. Was that a fridge? I think it was the off my green. Okay. So, let's see. There is an out of bounds hidden item inside the entry gatehouse. The item finder will ping if you use it, but unfortunately, there's no way to unearth the hidden nugget in here. All right, that's good to know. Uh, you have 500 step counter while inside the Safari Zone. Running out of the counter will automatically return you to the entrance, as will running out of Safari Balls. Turning on the spot does not count as a step, but can still be used to trigger wild Pokemon battles. You are restricted to 30 Safari Balls you bought when entering, and any unused Safari Balls are lost once the game is over. The Savari Zone also has a different battling mechanic to the rest of the game. The Pokemon here do not attack, but have a nasty habit of running away from battle. And those with higher speed stats are more likely to flee, um, which makes it harder to catch them. Each rock you throw at the wild Pokemon doubles the chances of catching it, but it also makes it angry for one to five turns, and an angry Pokemon is twice as likely to run. Um, when you, each thrown bait has the chance of catching the Pokemon, but also lulls it into an eating state, which four times less likely to run. Uh, for all of these unexplained mechanics, the strategy that gives you the best chance to capture Pokemon in, in, on any given encounter is simply to throw balls at it and ignore rocks and bait. The only time you might ever want to consider rocks and bait is if you're running low on balls. Um, a little later on, red and blue players can take advantage of a glitch to bypass all of these odd mechanics. Sadly, yellow doesn't do it. All right. Um, there's a lot of information here, and I'm just... There's so much. Um, okay. I'm going to have to pause this and figure out what we need to catch, because there's so many Pokemon in this area. Be right back. All right, welcome back. So based on everything I'm looking at, it looks like there is 12 different Pokemon I can catch in this area. Um, so let's go ahead and I guess I'm going to just kind of stand around and start catching them and showing you me catching them. And then if there's any items I got to go get, uh, we'll go ahead and get, get those items as well. But for the moment, I'm going to meet you back when I start catching the Pokemon I want. It's going to be a long video, I think, because there's 12 of them. Be right back. Let me do this first. Now, welcome to the Safari Zone. For just 500, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to join the hunt? Yes. That'll be 500. We got a lot. We only use a special Pokeball here. See, 30 Safari Balls. 
We'll call you on the PA when you're when you run out of time or safari balls. All right. I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, huh. I messed up. So this is one of the Pokemon I need to catch. I just caught a Parasect. Um, I'll show you the um, Pokemon. I'll actually show you the um, writing. Because I thought I hit on pause. Apparently I did not. So this is another one. So let's see what we got. Okay, so it just says keep throwing them. Well... All right, see you. Let me see if I can catch the peanut out or the other one. All right, here we are with the parasect. I caught him with one t one last time. It's probably going to run. Okay. okay. I'll show you what happens when I catch him. Dang it. So off camera, I caught him on the first try. Okay. Whatever game. Alright, what's the number he gave me? It's number 47. Give me a second to put this in. You know what? Don't give me a second. The bug host is drained of energy by the mushrooms on its back. They appear to you all the thinking. Alright, I'll meet you when I get to the next one. Alright, we have a ch wild chancy now. Um, let's see what we got. I missed the Pokemon. What do you mean I missed? Why am I missing? Well, I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. Oh man, the chances are really hard to catch. I looked online and a lot of people are struggling. Um, I threw a piece of meat and it ate it and I was able to catch it. Uh, but they are a pain in the butt. A uh, gentle and kind-hearted Pokemon that shares its nutritious eggs if it sees an injured Pokemon. Um, from my understanding, this is supposed to be a really good Pokemon. Um, he rates it a D. But everywhere I see it online, um, people apparently, if you use him correctly, he's, he's dangerous. Um, but he, he he has an extreme he's extremely difficult to catch. He has abysmal low attack, means it can't effectively use any stab moves. But it does at least have a strong special and a wide special move pool. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and I'll meet you at the next one. Alright, welcome back. Just cut an execute. What? Oh. <laughs> Thought you were talking to me. Like, what did I do? Okay, um, new Pokedex will be added, blah, 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 you know, you know how this is. So we have, the heads attract each other and spin around. There must be six heads for it to maintain balance. Okay, so I'll meet you at the next one. So far we're doing good. We've gotten three of the 12. Be back. All right, we have a Dragonair. Um, let's see if we can catch him. Fingers crossed. Okay, so last time I had this problem, I just let him eat, and it worked. I'm going to throw a rock at it and make it angry. Okay, uh, be right back. 
All right, welcome back. So I um I don't think I can catch a dragon air here. I mean I've thrown maybe 40, 50 safari balls at him, and I've never even got him to go inside one. So um, apparently the trinities are kind of hard to catch too. They can't be harder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch me a Dratini and I'm going to slowly, I'm going to eventually uh, level him up to he becomes a dragon there because, yeah, pain in the butt. All right, be right back. All right, welcome back. I got it. <laughs> so I'll probably put this in near the end of the game in my files and I'll just go ahead and, uh, yeah, you know. The existence of this mythical Pokemon was only recently confirmed by Fisherman who caught one. Alright, so I'll meet you when I catch the next one. I've got two more in this area. i got a Tangela and a Rhyhorn. Be right back. Alright, welcome back. We have a Tangela now. You only have a 4% chance of getting into a fight with one of these guys. So, that's cool. I'm not going to catch one on camera for you guys again, am I? It's always off camera. I don't know why. Alright, meet you guys in a second, sorry. Alright, welcome back. Got one. Which means there's only one more in the center area of this area. I, that sounded weird. Alright. Its identity is obscured by masses of thick blue vines. The vines are said to never stop growing. Alright, I'll catch you. We got one more in this area, a Rhyhorn. Um, he's supposed to be 10%, which is weird. I've caught in the 1% and the 4% before I ever got to him. Okay. Moving on. Alright, welcome back. I only have two uh, balls, so we'll see if I can catch this guy. Um, maybe you can finally watch me catch one. All right, I'll be back. All right, here we go. Caught it. The right horn. Let's see what we got. A Pokemon with a one-track mind. Once it charges, it won't stop running until it falls asleep. All right, I think I have no more Pokeballs, so I'm going to go ahead and leave... Um, and you can stay with me this time. Because you're, I'm going to walk to the other side. Yep. Yeah, give it to me. We only have five more Pokemon to catch. One of them, from my understanding, is also hard, so I'm not a guarantee I can catch it. That's the Tauros. Alright, let's do this. There's also items. There's nothing in the first area. There is some stuff on the other side. So, all right, let's see what we've caught. Let's see if they gave me any ranking. So, we caught the Rhyhorn, another underlevel Pokemon in slow experience group. Rhyhorn won't evolve until level 42. While its physical stats are incredible and its move pool is great, it requires a long ride to become powerful and still has low speed and special. Uh, the Tangela is also rated D. Rare Safari Zone account. A Tangela has a terrible mood pool consistently, entirely, or grass and normal. It lacks Solar Beam or even Petal Dance, and its attack stat is too low to use normal types effectively. The Dratini, available for the first time in Yellow version, though at a low level of 15, Dratini all, all only evolves into its powerful final form at level 55. This is a long grind due to Dratini's low stats and slow experience group. Good to know. Going to continue forward. Um, yeah. Uh, so we're going to cross the grass. We're probably going to get into a fight. Can we catch a gang? That's fun. No, not a yellow. Can of Taurus. All right. Oh, come on. All 
All right, so we're going to go this way. I haven't been over here yet. Right. Just have a break. Good boy. All right, what's this say? Come here. Center area north. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to catch two things. Um, Chill, Charlie. Don't run when I throw a rock at you. Charlie, chill. Charlie. Over here. All right, that was kind of difficult to catch, but I got him. Oh, I got him. All right. Which means we only have four more to catch in this area. A rowdy Pokemon with a lot of stamina. Once running, it won't stop until it hits something. So this one's also rated D by this guide. Um, it says that Tauros doesn't fare too well in game, largely because it's so rare and hard to catch. Um, it will be, and then it will be under leveled. If you do get one, it's strong, normal type Pokemon with great attack and speed and a fantastic move pool. So apparently, if you can get one, it's worth it. Good to know. All right, I'll meet you on the next one. Two more in this area. All right, welcome back. We got a Marowak. This is one of the other ones. So let's see if we can catch him. No. Nope. Of course it runs. <laughs> Sorry guys. Be right back. I do apologize that I can't seem to catch any of these on screen. Like, it's kind of annoying, honestly, because it's making me do extra work. Nothing can be easy, though, right? It's got to make it, it's got to be challenging. All right, so that was a Marowak. We caught, we caught the mother. Small and weak, this Pokemon is adept with its bone club. It has grown more vicious over the ages. Um, there is no evaluation of this one, so... Until next time, we got one more to catch in this area. All right, this is the last one in center area east. Maybe I can catch him for you guys, huh? He's going to run away. You're not going to watch me catch him. But I will catch him. I can promise you that. Come on. All right, be right back. All right, welcome back again. Took a while to catch him, but I got him. All right. We got a Scyther. Leaps out of tall grass and slices prey with its scythes. The movement looks like that of a ninja. And that just sounds violent. Is what it sounds like to me. Alright, so we got one more to go. Okay. Uh, um, so where are we headed next? Uh, meet you there. Uh, I'm not really showing you the map yet. I'm going to show you the map next when I'm catching all the Pokemon in here. And then when I do my next video, we'll go ahead and go through here and grab all the items. I'm trying to get all the Pokemon first because that's going to take the longest, I think. Be right back. All right, we got our first Kangaskhan. See if I can catch him for you guys. Wouldn't that be awesome? You could actually watch me catch something. Of course not. Why would that happen? Be right back. Okay, so that took a long time to catch, but I got him. Which means there's only one more left in this area for me to catch. Makes me very happy, because next episode we can get back to going through it. Uh, raises its young in its belly pouch. Won't run from any fight to keep its young protected. 
All right. Meet you when we finally meet. Get the pincer. Be right back. All right. Welcome back. This is the last Pokemon that we're going to catch. Hopefully you get to watch me. We haven't been very lucky with that so far. But here's hoping. Come on, come on. Ah. All right, well, I'll see you guys in a second when I catch him. Okay, that took forever, but I finally caught him. Grips its prey and its pincers and squeezes hard. It can't move if it's cold, so it lives in warm places. So, I've caught in all the Pokemons in this area that I'm aware of. I'm going to double check off camera to make sure I got them all. Um, but next video, we will be going through it and we will be continuing and actually doing what we're supposed to be doing in this area. Um, so, adios amigos.